In our previous two videos, we took a look at theoretical probability and experimental probability. Now we're making predictions. This is level 11, stage four, seventh grade math. Let's take a look at the level 11 overview, shall we? Boy, that's a mouthful. Why don't you try saying that level 11? It's hard to say. We are on 11-4 making predictions and we're halfway done with this level. Our state standard says that approximate the probability of a chance event by collecting data of the chance process that produces it and observing its long run relative frequency and predict the approximate relative frequency given the probability. We will take a look at the word predict and relative frequency in today's video. This is our stage four overview. For the villains, what is a prediction and what is relative frequency? And for the cheat codes, how do you write probability given part and total? Let's take a look at the vocabulary. Our first word is the word prediction. Prediction means to speak before something happens. This happens a lot of times in sports where people will try to make a sports prediction on who they think is going to win the game. Relative frequency is our second vocabulary word. This is how often something happens divided by all of the outcomes. Some fast facts about probability. Not every probability tic-tac-toe board will have 100% in it. It's true. Ask yourself, what is the part and what is the total? Remember, you should add when you see the word or. Example number one. Amelia finds that six of her 20 cats have fleas. Wow, you better get that fixed, Amelia. If she had 100 cats, like some sort of cat lady, how many would you predict would have fleas? Step number one, make a part and total tic-tac-toe board. That's what TTT stands for. The headings are data and prediction right at the top, right next to the smiley face. Step number two, fill in the table with the data. And step number three, cross multiply. After you do that, remember you want to divide by the coefficient in step number four. Let's set up our tic-tac-toe board for example number one. Smiley face goes up in the top left corner. Good to see you, buddy. Part and total goes underneath that. We're going to put data and prediction off to the right. Let's go ahead and fill it in with some data. There were six cats that have fleas. There was a total of 20 cats. What would happen if she had 100 cats? Well, we would multiply the six times the 100 and that would give us 600. We would divide that by 200. The number we didn't use, the number we didn't use to multiply is what we're gonna divide by. We divide that by 20. 600 divided by 20 is 30. What does 30 mean? 30 means I predict that 30 out of 100 cats will have fleas. Ugh, that's gross. Example number two, Miles sold six cars and four trucks today. If he sold 21 cars this week, how many trucks would you predict that he sold? Step number one, make a part and part tic-tac-toe board. Not a typo. I want it to be part and part, not part and total. The headings are data and prediction. Step number two, fill in the table with the data. Step number three, you're gonna cross multiply. Step four, divide by the coefficient. We've got our tic-tac-toe board set up for example number two. We've got the smiley face in the top left corner. Part is cars and part is trucks. That's the difference between part and part. One is cars, one is trucks. We've got data at the top, prediction at the top. Let's go ahead and fill it in. Six cars and four trucks. What if he sold 21 cars? 
how many trucks would he have? We are going to cross multiply the four with the 21. We multiply that together and we get 84. Let's divide that by the six that we didn't use. When we divide that by six, we get 14. What does 14 mean? 14 means I predict that he sold 14 trucks this week. Example number three, our final example. Jackson finds that six out of 10 boxes of crayons have been used. If he opened 15 boxes, how many would he expect to be used? Step number one, we're going to divide the part by the total. Step number two, multiply the rate times the total. So we're going to do six divided by 10. Six of them have been used divided by a total of 10, and that gives us a decimal of six tenths. This is the rate of broken crayon boxes. We're going to multiply that by the 15, and we get nine. This is how many boxes we would expect to have been used, nine boxes. And that's our answer. But let's suppose we feel really comfortable using the tic-tac-toe board. What would that look like in a tic-tac-toe board? Well, we're gonna put part and total, data and prediction. Six out of the 10 were used boxes of crayons. There's a total of 15 boxes. How many were used? We could cross multiply the six with the 15. That would give us 90. We're gonna divide it by the 10, that's right here. And that gives us nine, just like we had on the previous page. I expect that nine out of 15 boxes will have broken crayons. Bzzz. A common mistake students make when making predictions is they think that all predictions need to be written as a percent. Be sure to remember that you need to answer the question and not just give any old answer. And we've come to the motivational quotes of the day. I've got two of them for you. The first one says the best way to predict the future is to create it. If you don't like your current situation and you want a, a bright future, that's really on you. It's up to you to create your own future. You've got to go out and you have to make something happen. It is not going to come to you. Trust me, I can speak from experience. If you want something, you've got to go out and get it yourself. You have to be aggressive about that. And perfect example is Coca-Cola. I found out that Coca-Cola sold only 25 bottles in its first year. I was like, what? That's crazy. Um, it, we know that Coca-Cola is a billion dollar business now. So do you think they gave up after they sold 25 bottles in the first year? No, of course not, because they're still going at it today. And so never, never give up. If there's something worth fighting for, continue to try to work as hard as you can to reach your goal.